if you consider a Venn diagram. This was the STS finalist. This was me. I didn't think they'd ever overlap. But here we are. So the Regeneron Science Talent Search tries to identify the teens across our country who are the best positioned to make impacts in scientific fields. I would describe STS as an event that all young high school researchers dream of going to. Honestly, I didn't process it until like a week later, until like people kept congratulating me and like asking me like what my project was about. Even though it's a competition with $250,000 at stake, it's very collaborative, very supportive actually. Everyone is like in it together. We're all working towards the same goal, just learning and doing our best. It simultaneously has felt like everything's gone by in a blip, but it also feels like I've known these people for a long time already. If I were to summarize STS in one word, I'd say it's fun. Inspiring to get exposed to all these like different projects and people and ideas. Everyone's really into their fields and they can talk about it with such enthusiasm. It's kind of infectious. The meals, I feel like it's not really like a break because everyone's always talking about stuff. I feel like I'm learning everything every second that I'm out there. I think my favorite part is just hanging out with the finalists in the lounge. It's just really fun realizing that we have so much in common despite our interests being so different. One of my favorite activities during Icebreakers was each of us has a tag of some scientific terminology on your back and you have to ask a question about your name tag. This morning at the Capitol building, all of us freezing, shivering, wrapping each other in blankets. To have such a supportive group to, you know, chill with is really nice. And I think there is something to be said about being in our nation's capital. It's just a very special experience to be in Washington, D.C., which is where a lot of important stuff happens. The schedule is really packed. I really want to be like in all these places at once, in the lounge, in the judging room, going to like different events. I just want to be everywhere so I can experience kind of everything that STS has to offer. Even the judging is fun. The judges ask you uh, these questions which are not like traditional science questions. The judging process is really unpredictable, but at the same time, it's really engaging. And it wasn't just the, oh, you got a correct answer or not. We got to have dinner with some of our judges, and that was really rewarding because we got to ask them questions about their work. We all got to talk to some of the alumni, so it was cool to see what someone who was in our shoes went on to do. We are in some ways the next generation of scientists, and I think it's so amazing that we they're looking to us, people like us who are really Really young, honestly 17, 18, and giving us this platform. Especially with the public exhibition day coming up where people can go onto the website or the live streams and be able to see our projects. Thank you for the question. So in my project, I studied internal... The finalists this year of the Regeneron Science Town Search, their research is really hitting all aspects of societal impact. I can't wait to see what these 40 young people are gonna do. I feel really honored to be able to be viewed as a scientist. I think that a lot of times, like social science is pushed aside. There's a finalist here that's using computer coding to early detect signs of suicide. And it's things like that where you're using your gift of knowledge to bring a meaningful change into the world. A lot of times people feel like they can't do anything about it, but projects like mine or other environmental science projects gives us more hope that the younger generation can make a difference to combat this issue. The Regeneron Science Talent Search is all about you know, taking our biggest social issues and tackling them with science. I definitely think this project will make the world a much better place. Internet privacy is important to me. I saw that these people were buying so many clothes without really knowing the dark side behind fast fashion is what really inspired me to delve deeper into that social and environmental lens. There are a lot of problems in our world that need to be addressed in a variety of different ways and they require all types of perspectives and backgrounds. It's really cool because something like that, like starting a research project in high school, can lead to that person continuing that research and actually coming up with feasible solutions to solve like real world issues. I, I certainly didn't know that you could do research in high school. I'm the only kid in my entire school who's ever really done math further than just going to class. I think that a lot of students believe that doing research in STEM requires a PhD or a lot of experience and for me, all it took was a cold email. I reached out to 30, I believe, scientists and engineers. Just how many people were super willing to write back, yeah, sure, I'll answer your questions, even though you're 
some high school student who I've never met. I actually conducted most of my research at home in my little like homemade lab, which is basically just my room. I've only been a researcher for around eight months. I think that says a lot about how research isn't necessarily about who's been doing it the longest. No one in my family is really involved in STEM, and so being accepted into this community, it really showed me that anyone can do this, and I got this. The problems that we face now are truly existential. The answers are not in front of us right now. These have to come from great new ideas, from great young minds. That's what these kids bring. They bring a new perspective, new ideas, and new hope to helping us all with all of our existential threats. I'm really excited to kind of see 20 years from now what this group is, is doing, whether we have people who have cured cancer or have figured out how to you know, treat personalized mental health treatment. If you want to start like a biotech company, which I hope to do in the future as well, they may be your future colleagues and you know, lifelong friends. I'm really excited for my finalists and to see like, you know, I knew them when they were, you know, when we were all seniors in high school and when we were doing our research projects. You know, it's, it starts with us and it'll continue after us and I think that hope is what's keeping everything alive. Welcome to all of you here at the National Building Museum and those, of course, who are joining us online. We're here tonight to celebrate the finalists of the 2023 Regeneron Science Talent Search. third place winner and the recipient of a $150,000 award, Ellen Shu. The second place winner and the recipient of a $175,000 award, Emily Ocasio. The first place winner and the recipient of a $250,000 award, from Celine, Michigan, Neil Magdal. People my age really do have the skills to solve these challenges. We have to believe that we are able to do it because that, that is always the first step toward actually making a difference. And I think working together and trying to problem solve critically can really help even at a young age for other teenage scientists.